One of the many popular uses of microcontrollers like Arduino or the ATmega328 that it's based on is to control other devices and due to the fact that the Arduino can only cope with 5 volts signal and can only run so much current through a theoretical maximum of 40 milliamps per pin you need to use other components to control that voltage and this turns the component into essentially a switch here we've got some examples we've got a MOSFET we've got opto coupler we've got a transistor we've got a relay and we've got the L293 motor controller which is a H bridge Today we're going to talk about transistors, but essentially they all work very similarly in that you have an input current and that current is controlled by a signal and the signal tells the component whether the switch should be connected or open. With PWM we can actually control how much current is allowed to flow, which is why transistors and H-bridges are used for motor control. It allows us to control the speed of the motor using PWM. So we can use this to do simple things like control extra voltage. We can use it to control other devices, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hack my camera remote for my Canon camera. But you can also use transistors for amplifiers. And transistors are used for logic gates as well. So you can create an AND or a NOT by careful use of transistors. The transistor we're going to look at is the BC547NPN transistor. And that consists of three pins, the collector, base and emitter. Into the collector we put 5 volts. Then we send signal and we connect with ground. To control the base, to control the middle pin which controls the flow, we essentially do a blink sketch. So we define the base as pin 3. We set the base as output. And we set the base low for a second, then we set it high for a second. And we can control with PWM. So we can control how much current flows according to what our needs are. We're only blinking an LED at this point, so we just have to set it high or low. I'm hacking away at uh, IR remote for my Canon camera and it's an Amazon Basics $5 remote. This usually has a button and when you press down on the button it makes contact between the outer and inner parts of these connectors. The transistor can take the place of that button. So we connect to ground so all the grounds are connected and when the signal is high on the transistor, it will make the connection and it will send the signal out of the infrared LED to the camera. And each time the signal sent high, it will take another photograph. <laughs> 